YouTube, this is Supercharged iOS, and in this video I'm going to show you guys where to get the new SIO2X skin for your XBMC. Alright, now if you already got Fusion, you're good to go, but if you don't, I'll have a link in the description as well as on the screen of this video to show you guys how to add Fusion, and after that you can come right back and finish adding the SIO2 skin. Alright, so for those of you who already have Fusion, follow on, let's go to System Settings. We're going to go down to add-ons, install from zip, and depending on what the name is that you saved your fusion sources under, mine's super add-ons, but it'll be whatever you typed it. If most people just put fusion, then that's what it'll say. So once you go into that, it'll, it'll enter the fusion area. You go to skins, select that one. It takes a couple seconds, and there you go. You want to add that repo, so select it and you just cl simply click on it and it'll begin in a couple seconds at the bottom right hand corner you'll see SIO2 repository fast colors repository enabled once you see that just start to hit the back button until you get right here and then go up to get add-ons fast color repository now if you run into a problem where the fast colors repository is empty if you're on the the new Ouya gaming console like me you just hit this button one time and once you tap that button that powers the device on and the remote on and such you just go ahead and select force refresh it's that simple and you shouldn't even have to restart the device you should just select it and it'll open right up and everything will be there it takes a few seconds once you refresh the repo because it has to refetch all the packages Alright, so then you go into the repo, and you can, if you want, you can install the older SIO2 skin, but most people are, are here for that right there, the new SIO2X skin. And depending on your device, you know, some of these newer devices, these dongle sticks, these HDTV smart sticks and whatnot, uh, some of them aren't powerful enough for, to push the new SIO2 skin in, in all its beauty. So, just a heads up, but well, you guys can go ahead and try it if you wish. I didn't have much luck with it, but I had nothing but good things to say about it with the new Ouya Gaming Console. Alright, so once you get that installed, simple to do. You just install that one, and you go back, and now we're going to go to Settings, Appearance. You want to go to Skin, and then you want to move over to Skin, and when that's highlighted, Confluence. You want to select it and then these will pop up. Here I'll go ahead and select SIO2X and show you what it looks like. You just hit, once you get it selected, you just start hitting back until you go back to the first original screen. Simple as that. And there's what it looks like. It looks pretty cool as you can see. You can completely personalize it. It's not very hard to do. I'll go ahead and show you a little bit about how it's done. Just go into settings skin settings scroll down to home page customizer and here will be a list of places you can put different add-ons like see here it will say script but all I can put is program add-ons now because I've added pretty much I've used all the places that I can put any other apps so I'll go ahead and show you replace I'll go ahead and show you you can change them and just put whichever one you want there see just change it put iPhoto there so that's pretty much how it's done. It's not very hard. You just go to which one you want. You select it. Then you go to replace item. And you can scroll down and select whichever one you want. And go Sports Devil. See? Alright, so there it is. The new SIO2X skin for XBMC. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Please remember to click like and subscribe. Hope you guys thought this video was pretty helpful. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.